What's going on guys? It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and today is episode 2 of What Were They Thinking? where I take a critical look at how the developers at Massive have incorrectly programmed a weapon in the division. Last week I covered in depth the FAL assault rifle and if you haven't yet had a chance to view that video I will leave a link in the description below. So for today I would like to jump into another classification of weapon and focus on the Chris Vector 45 ACP submachine gun. For those of you agents who have been playing since launch back in March of this year, we can all remember the heavy push towards overall DPS numbers. There are plenty of glass cannon build videos on YouTube of players who have gone firearms only and are usually built around a god roll vector. For this reason, if there were a weapon that could be placed on the most hated weapon list in the division, it would be the vector. The Vector is a very interesting weapon in real life, and if you've never had a chance to look one over, they are quite impressive. The overall design, heavy use of polymer construction, and insane rate of fire make this weapon seem like something from a futuristic video game rather than a real-life CQC weapon. What I would like to concentrate on today are several facets of this weapon that have been programmed incorrectly and when possible I would like to offer my suggestions and encourage your suggestions as to how the devs could alter the meta to more accurately portray this weapon. The first and most glaring programming inconsistency is the rate of fire. The real life vector fires at an incredible 1200 rounds per minute, yet has been programmed before weapon mods to fire at an average 750 RPM. Now, I am a realist and understand that if this weapon had been programmed to mirror real life, nobody would choose another SMG other than the vector. It is the rate of fire that is the single most recognizable characteristic of the weapon but has been dumbed down to add parity amongst the SMG classification. The second programming issue with the Vector is the damage versus caliber of rounds, and I showed you this type of graph last week while dissecting the FAL assault rifle. Most SMGs in the division fire the standardized 9mm rounds. Assuming that they are all firing at the same muzzle velocities, and they are FMJ rounds, they produce 494 joules of kinetic energy. An FMJ-45 ACP cartridge fires at a slightly slower muzzle velocity but produces 549 joules of kinetic energy. In layman's terms, if you fire both an FMJ 9mm and 45 ACP round at the exact same target, the 45 ACP round will hit harder because it delivers more kinetic energy to the intended target. This would give the damage output advantage to any player using an SMG that fires a 45 ACP cartridge. The final programming issue I have found with a Vector is the standard starting magazine size and its ability to be modded. The feed system for a standard 45 ACP Vector is either 10 or 13 round detachable box magazines with a rare Mag X extension taking the weapon into the 25 plus round counts. Through most of my weapon reviews, I have noticed that the starting ammunition counts have been fairly accurate between real life and programmed variants. If this were held true to the vector, it should start with either 10 or 13 round magazines and then could be modified from there. As an example, if it started with an accurate 13 round magazine and then you applied a 100% capacity magazine mod, the weapon would now fire 26 rounds before needing to reload. Instead, the dev started with an incorrect 20 round base starting magazine that can be modded up from there. So what can be done to the Meta to correctly portray the Vector 45 ACP submachine gun? This is a thought provoking topic and one that may be hotly contested with strong opinions on both sides. In previous updates, Massive has just simply nerfed both the AUG A3 and Vector 45 ACP as there was much complaining from the community that both of these SMGs were OP. I believe this was the wrong avenue to take as just dumbing down a weapon by a small percentage across the board seems like a cheap way to appease the player base. Instead of lowering a weapon's overall effectiveness across the board I would have embraced its unique characteristics in an attempt to differentiate it from other SMGs. My answer for the Vector would have been to raise the RPM up to its natural 1200 rounds per minute and then to lower the magazine to its normal 10 to 13 rounds before mods. Then, I would have lowered the range of the weapon to put an emphasis on close quarters combat. 
This would mean to increase the damage to distance drop-off meta for the Vector, so with the proposed increased rate of fire, it would not be able to outgun an assault rifle at range. This would have essentially turned the Vector 45 ACP into a high-risk, high-reward, close-quarters laser beam. Land all your shots in close and you win the engagement. Miss just a few and the other agent with higher ammo counts would win his or her engagement with you. Each weapon in the SMG classification should have gone through a thorough exam and in turn each weapon should have characteristics that differentiate it from the others. Range, hip fire accuracy, stability, rate of fire, ammo capacity, time to shoulder the weapon, and ADS accuracy are all items that could have been tweaked to give a specific weapon an added advantage over the others. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts on this video and my proposed changes to the Vector programming. I would like to use the comments section as a forum, so please leave your thoughts as to what are the best changes for the current Vector meta. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video with either a thumbs up or down, it would be greatly appreciated. If you want some more Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and my weapon reviews in your life, follow me on Twitter at Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer. I'm very proud of all the work I put into my entire The Division Weapon Review playlist, and it really is the most comprehensive and accurate Division Weapon Review playlist on YouTube. So, if there is any weapon in the Division you have questions about, look no further than my reviews to answer all of your questions. And remember from my channel, likes, comments, subs are loved. Until my next The Division video, this has been Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, saying peace out.